All right, awesome. It is a Sunday morning, March 21st. I believe we're officially in spring. So take your seat. And spring isn't my favorite holiday. My favorite holiday is actually summer, <laughs> holiday season. But spring is on the way to summer. In Texas, we're quite fortunate. We get every season usually within the same 24 hour period of time. <clears throat> and as I look around, there's um, still some unsettling. If you could please find your seat, get your sits bones grounded into the mat, the blocks, the floor, a chair. Create length in your spine from the root of the pelvis. Set your eyes or close them. So if you set your eyes to one point, you actually choose a focal point and you hold a steady gaze there. Just an intentional steady gaze. If they're closed, your gaze goes inward. And then take a couple of deep, deep breaths in. And as you breathe in, accentuate the length of your exhale so that you can create even deeper breath. I'd like to offer, I'd like to offer a theme of your meditation and maybe your practice, maybe your day. And that theme is resilience. If we've proved nothing else over the last 12 months, we've proved our resilience. our strength of energy, our willingness to adapt. And being resilient is not without putting energy in. Oftentimes to thrive, we have to put a lot of energy in. And sometimes it's hard to see the benefit of the energy put in until you get all the way through and on the other side. So as you sit with a long spine, soft gaze, easy breath, Celebrate your resilience, the resilience of your family. Acknowledge the adaptability in the work that it takes to create sustainability, success, life. Over the next few moments, expand your breath a little deeper. Allow the muscles in your torso to contract as you exhale, completing the full exhale. In a way, energizing your breath.
with this depth of breath, create more length in your spine, elongate your entire torso, shoulders back. Feel more grounded at the end of your exhale. Expansive at the end of your inhale. Two more. Gently hands to chest center, thumbs to forehead, namaste. Come to child's pose. And take the breath that you just created and ensure that it's a new jaya breath using the full musculature of your diaphragm, opening and closing the bones of the rib cage, like really like feel the separation and the, the contraction of them, like the accordion, like really envision that, especially in your back. So the back half of the rib cage more than the front, just for the next, just for an exercise, you're really breathing in the whole chest, but just for an exercise, see if you can expand the back. Downward facing dog. Keep breathing like this, expanding your back. Anchor your hands into the floor. Let your head drop. Lift the arm bones up so that the chest, the chest, chest can fall a little bit more toward the thighs. Lift the upper back muscles, like lift where the upper shoulders go into the back right there. Nice and breathe. Couple more breaths here and down dog. Ragdoll. Allow the breath to move you in and out of the pose. So breathe in, create length, breathe out, more of a fold. Allow the head to drop down. And drop your hands. Heel to the feet into your athletic stance, narrow pelvis width, lengthen your spine. And then press into the floor, press the floor forward and fold in deeper, active forward fold. It's okay to have blocks there if you want, blocks under your hands. You wanna press down into the floor, your blocks, press forward, press down into your feet, the four corners of the feet, Big toe mound, center of your heel, little toe mound, press down, lift up in the quads, fold in deeper, breath in and out, lift halfway, breath in, fold, breath out, actively fold, fold down, press into the floor, press into your feet, lift again halfway, Fold in, this time all the way up extended mountain. Fold forward. Lift and lengthen. Step back, low push up, nice and gentle. Upward dog. Downward dog, breathe out. In breath. Out breath, step forward. 
lengthen your spine and fold. Use your inhale, extended mountain. Fold forward, exhale. Lift and lengthen. Low push up. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale, step or jump. Lift and lengthen. Fold. All the way up, reach. Fold down, exhale. Lengthen your spine, press into the floor. Take it back, low push up. Up dog. Down dog. In, out, step or jump, lengthen, fold. Extended mountain, create more length here, fold forward actively, lift and lengthen, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. In, out, step or jump, lengthen, fold, extend in mountain, fold forward, lift and lengthen your spine, prepare, chaturanga, step back, keep the spine long, up dog, in breath, down dog, breathe out, set your gaze. So resilience does not just come to us, we work for it. We train, we build strength. We take care of our bodies, our minds. And that is where we get resilience. If we don't do those things, we'll get caught up in whatever story we create in our head. Most of those stories aren't pretty. So today we work for it. We work for our strength. We work for our focus. You work for your focus with your eye gaze. You set it to one spot, like right now, find the spot at the back of your mat. This is one you'll come back to repetitively. And then deepen your breath, Ujjayi style, in the nose, fill the chest, and then contracting the belly muscles, the rib cage, the diaphragm, lifting, exhale. And repeat that in, out, in, breathe out, step to your hands, lengthen your spine, fold in, chair, breath in, and breathe out. Get your chair set, look down at your feet, make sure that they're at 12 o'clock. Make sure that your knees are coming out of your pelvis, that your feet are coming out of your knees. Everything is set in line. And when you reach up, like do it in a way that creates some space, right? So, so like if you have heavy shoulders and arms, it's impossible to hold the pose. You wanna take your arms back and pull them up and away. Breathe in, fold forward, lift and lengthen and chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, right foot forward, plant your foot, rise up. With energy, y'all, press into the feet, lift through your arms, breathe in, take it down, low push up, up dog, and down dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Being creation, breath in, breath out, full inhale, and then take it down, low push up. Up dog, gaze forward, down dog, empty, set your gaze. Breath in and breath out, step or jump forward. 
Lengthen your spine, gaze straight down. Fold. Chair, gaze forward, probably your screen. Fold forward, exhale. Lift and lengthen. And then chaturanga, hold your eye gaze right where it is. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Warrior one, right foot forward. Breath in and take it down, low push up. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left leg, warrior one. Breathe in and low push up. Up dog and downward facing dog. I'm sensing a reluctance to want to move. And I'm sensing it because I'm watching the slowness with which you are moving. <laughs> breathe in. Now breathe out, step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine, this is one in breath. Fold your out breath. Chair, one in breath, go. Fold, one out breath, go. Lengthen your spine, this is an inhale. It's an energetic inhale, chaturanga, low, low plank, exhale. Fill your lungs up, dog. Stay with it. Empty down, dog. Warrior one, right foot steps forward. Your inhale takes you right up. Go now. Come right back down, chaturanga. Move with your breath. Upward dog in and downward dog out. Left foot forward, warrior one, go. And then chaturanga, come down. So if there is physical injury, up dog, and downward facing dog that is preventing you from moving at the pace of your breath, then do your best. And maybe you skip the vinyasa part, the chaturanga up dog, down dog, and you just land in down dog. But we're gonna move with the breath together. We're gonna unify our energy and we're gonna create strength, endurance, focus. Breathe in and breathe out, step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine in, fold out, chair in, fold out, lengthen in, chaturanga out, up dog in, down dog out, warrior one right foot in, chaturanga out, in up, out down. Left foot in, chaturanga out, up dog in, down dog out. One catch up breath in, breathe it out, step or jump forward, lengthen, fold, chair deep, big reach, fold in half, lift. Exhale, chaturanga, up dog in, down dog out. Warrior one, in, chaturanga out. Up dog in, down dog out. Left foot in, chaturanga out. Up dog in. Down dog out. Lift your right leg up and bend, stack and open your hips. Hold right here. Flip your dog. Breath. Keep reaching. One more. Empty it out. Reach back up. We'll meet in side plank, right arm down. For five. Four. Gaze up. Two more. Last full inhale. 
Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg up. And bend, stack, and open. Hold and breathe. Flip your dog. And breathe here. Breathe into the spaces, lift your hips. If you're staying in the three-legged dog, keep reaching and reaching and reaching. Reach to the ceiling, meet up in side plank. Shift your gaze up, Ujjayi breath in. Squeeze into the center of your body, flex your feet, separate your toes, inhale, out, in, out. Last breath, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Crescent lunge, right foot forward. Breathe. Set your feet. Twisting crescent lunge. Use your knowledge of the practice to allow you to create focus. You don't have to worry about where you're going, you know the way. You just have to breathe. You have to engage in your foundation, your body, rooting into both feet, squeezing, lifting in the pelvis. Keep your visual focus now up over your right shoulder. Empty your air, warrior two. Stay nice and deep. Reverse the warrior. Straighten the front leg if you want. And then come right back in, extended side angle lunge. You choose forearm to your thigh, or you can take a block outside of your foot. You can hold onto your ankle. Whatever you do, you wanna root into both feet. Pull the right hip under your left. Press into your left foot. Separate the shoulders from one another. You're rooting down into the right arm to lift out of the left, both shoulders wrapping on your back. Ujjayi breath full. Your gaze ideally up at the ceiling, the sky, your hand. Reach over your left ear. Keep opening your chest. Press more into your feet though. You're opening the chest by stabilizing the pelvis. Ujjayi in. Reach back up, take your hand down, Chaturanga. Really stepping your right foot back intentionally, up dog, down dog, exhale. Hold down dog or take a headstand. Just five breaths. You can choose. Headstand, you'll take your hands down. Down dog, you just hold. That's one breath in and out. We're on two. Child's pose. One elongating breath in child's pose. Empty your air. Down dog. Breathe in and out. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Twisting crescent lunge.
breathe. Your focus is on your foundation, feet to pelvis, hands, shoulders, your gaze to your side or up. Ujjayi breath. And you just stay in. Pulling both shoulders back. Don't allow them to collapse in. Warrior two. Nice and deep. Reverse it. And now straighten your front leg if you like. And extended side angle lunge. It does not have to look the same on this side. What has to be the same is your energy in the foundation, working toward neutral pelvis and expanding in your shoulders. But whether your hand is down or on your thigh, keep working breath in and out. You can reach your right arm over your ear, see if that, See if you can get a little bit more length in your spine. Keep working left hip under right, press into both feet. Sometimes the energy wants to shift out. You wanna press into it. One more breath in, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Step or jump forward, lift and lengthen, fold, chair, twist right. You have to take your seat down, keep the feet anchored. You're really getting length on the left side body, but you wanna make sure you're not squeezing in so that you're taking the roundness out of the spine, really getting the tailbone down and long, chest lifting. Three, two, last inhale. Fold forward, walk your feet out, grab your big toes, lengthen your spine. Fold in, eyes wide open, drift to the back of your mat. Four, Three, two, last full breath in, breathe it out, release your toes, chair, twist left. Stay in the practice breath. Foundation, drishti. Nothing to think about. One more breath. Fold down. Walk your feet out, gorilla. Gaze the back of your mat, eyes wide open. Press more into your feet. See if your legs will straighten. See if you can get deeper in your fold. Use your upper back. Release your hands. Crow or crow prep or working on crow for five, four. Three, two, and one, yoga squat. I wanna do over, so we're gonna do it over. Another crow in just a second. So sit here, let your hips open and recover. 
Let your wrist relax. We'll do one more crow. This time, if you really love the crow to headstand game, you can play that one. Come right back in for crow. We'll go seven breaths for prep and pose. Two more. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. <sighs> Left foot forward, warrior one. Really square your hips as much as possible by pressing into your feet. Right arm under eagle arms. You're gonna keep your eagle arms, you're shifting into warrior three with eagle arms. And then going into eagle. You're just doing your best, right? If the balance isn't quite there today, it's okay. Keep working through it. Now take your leg back, open up airplane. Set your foot back, warrior one. Breathe in, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Left arm under, eagle arms. Each pose in and of itself, the work. Shifting warrior three with eagle arms. Really lifting your back leg, drishti down. Shifting to eagle, drishti forward. Staying in airplane. And warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog. Little play with balance. <laughs> Down dog. One breath in and breath out. Jump forward, lengthen, fold all the way up. Eagle right. Drishti forward, both shoulders back. Extended mountain, left side, use your breath. Extended mountain, hands to heart, hands to hips. Right leg up. You can go fully extended if you're there today, or you can keep your knee bent. Looking for length in the spine, left arm reaches to the sky. Right leg out, left arm out. Gaze to the left. Center, both arms up. Warrior three, your arms stay by your ears, reach back. Parachute arms, lift the chest, draw the bottom ribs down, and then open airplane. Chest lifting, shoulder blades will come together as the shoulders lift. Standing split, hands go down to the floor or your left ankle. And from here, open half moon. Left hand down, block is fine, floor is fine. If you need a prop, use one, just come in. Stay or bind. No right answer, do what your body feels. Keep opening. Keep pulling your left hip under the right. 
instant forgiveness for any wobbles, instant forgiveness for distraction and come right back in. Last full inhale, foot down, exhale, all the way up. Well done, hands to heart and then to hips. Left leg up, Ujjayi breath moving, gaze fixed, right arm reaches up. Out to the left, right arm out, look right. Ujjayi breath moving. Relax your jaw. Center, both arms up. Keep your arms by your ears. Send your leg back. This is warrior three. Then parachute your arms to lift the chest, pull the bottom ribs toward the pelvis and then take your arms back, lifting more for airplane. Keep the jaya breath moving. You're turning your left toes down, baby toe toward the earth, right hip back. Standing split. Keep lifting the left leg, internal rotation of your left leg. There will be a tendency to want to open it up, not yet. Now you open it, half moon. So moving one pose into the next, not short changing any of the work, any of the process or transition, it's all critical. Bind if you want. Three more. Work it where you are. Last in breath. Foot down, exhale. Grab your strap, extended mountain. If you don't have a strap, it's okay. We're gonna do dancer. I'm gonna give you all a second to grab your props. Okay. Wrap your foot, take it behind you, breathe, set your gaze. Lift into the pose, three, two, and one. Switch sides, keep your focus. Three, two, And one, right side, stay focused, breath, gaze, five, three, last full breath in and out and then switch sides. Okay, stay set. Root into your right foot. Four. Three. Keep working. Full breath in and out, in, out, foot down. Tree pose, right leg. Yeah, and use some energy here. You're pressing into the left foot. Right foot is pressing into your left quad. You should feel some tension under your right foot. You wanna meet that tension with energy to create length and stability. Switch sides. 
So it's not just resting your foot up there, sinking into the bones and joints. It's actually hugging in, lifting from the center, creating energy. Foot down. Extended mountain, big reach. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Ooh, nice Tanya. Downward facing dog. Tanya's doing the leaping version from her handstand. It takes a lot of core strength for that. Breathe in and breathe out. Step or jump forward. Uh -huh. Lift and lengthen. Fold. All the way up, extended mountain, big reach. Fold all the way down, exhale. Check in with your feet. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Warrior one, right leg forward. Breathe in, reach up, go back. Breathe out. Sink your hips lower, press more in your feet, up and back. One more. Come to neutral, open up, warrior two. So there's this thing that's real easy to get kind of lazy with, and that is the back hip. So there will be a real, there's a real tendency to create the back, to come into this pose with the back hip so lifted. You really want to work for the back hip and the front hip to be on the same plane. So I don't know if you can see, so the default is here. What I'm looking for is here. Can you see that? And so you wanna get both even, and then you can reverse your warrior and come into triangle. But you wanna start with the pelvis on one plane. Macy, we're getting closer to see, and I didn't show you. I'll show you on the other side. <laughs> Sorry. And I'll tell you, Macy, you rarely do it because you're so mobile in your hips. You tend to go a little low, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Breathe in and out. Why don't you come up warrior two? Okay, Mace, look now. So the default is this, where this hip is up and this one's down. So what we're looking for is that, you see? Okay, all right, toes in, wide-legged straddle. If, a straddle, if the straddle headstand is in your practice and you wanna go do that now, you can stay in the fold. We have five more breaths. If you're upside down, feet come wide. Pull in, straddle fold, half lift, all the way up. Pyramid pose, right foot forward. Twisting triangle, you'll lift, root into the left hand, spin open. I'm really rooting into the back foot, trying to get the spine long. Last breath, and then hands down, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. 
Warrior two. Reverse and triangle. Really some diligence in the pelvis. In triangle, the left pelvis kind of comes under the right. Ujjayi breath. Warrior two. Work the mechanics of your warrior two here. You can look at your own pelvis and see what's happening. Typically, if you take weight out of the right foot is when the right pelvis lifts up. So you want to put more weight there as you come in. Working with your own body's structure. Okay, pyramid. Step the right foot out and up, root down and fold. I really miss being able to see you all in a room. I'm not gonna lie. Lengthen your spine and twisting triangle. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Come to your forearms. And then the forearm plank. Lift your right leg up, bring your right knee into your tricep. Take it back again, tricep, back, tricep, back, right foot down. Left foot up, left tricep, back, again, back, again, back, put it down. High plank. Right knee to chest, back, left, right. Left, right, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, lower all the way down, all the way down to the floor. Lower all the way down. <laughs> Come down. Locust. Come down. Locust. Bend your knees, grab your ankles, go to floor bow. Flex your feet. Gaze down and forward. One more breath. Come down, exhale. Breath cycle in and out. Locust into floor bow. Spread your chest. Use your hands on your legs, create resistance. Lift your feet, breath in, come down. You can windshield wiper your legs side to side. Up dog. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so be diligent here. Press into your hands, bend your elbows, shoulders go back. Press into the feet, lift the front of the pelvis, open up. Down dog. Camel. Two knees down, right out of the pelvis. Feet, toes turned under or flat. Integrate your shoulders, keep the pelvis square and open up. Breath in, breathe all the way out, chin to chest, come up, have a seat, get a drink. Macy, did you forget your drink? Camel number two. Yeah, if you're, so if it feels, this is a really challenging pose for you. I want you to take your hands to your bottom and like just open the chest. So there's, you don't wanna let the hands hang heavy because that dumps in the low spine. So keep the opening, connect your hands somewhere, chest, legs, ankles, one more breath. And the come up, downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Step or jump through. Bridge. Get into the feet, rise up. Gaze to the ceiling. Very slowly, roll your back down, articulating the spine from the top to the bottom, and then land. The pose is gonna be wheel. You can modify it with a bridge anytime. You can hold a bridge, or you can hold a supported bridge, or you can hold your wheel. Breathe in and breathe out, press up. We're gonna start in bridge. And then you can add your arms for wheel if it's there for you. And sometimes we don't know until we try. Everyday wheel is new for me. Breathe in and breathe out. Gently come down or hold it. Inhale, exhale, back up. In and out, come down. Or you're holding, in breath. Out breath, back up from bridge to wheel, or you're holding. Come down, breathe in, breathe out, back up, or you're still holding. Come down, breathe in, and out, back up, or you're holding. Come down, breathe in, breathe out, back up, or you're still holding. Last one, three, two, and one. Gently down, let your whole spine hit the floor. You can let your knees come in for a breath or two. And then soles of your feet together, knees out, butterfly. And just rest here. Take your hands to your heart and belly if you want. You can close your eyes. Maybe deepen your breath here. If you've pushed yourself in the practice, 
quite possible that you're feeling the energy in a breath that may be shorter or a heart rate that is faster. This is where you regain focus. Curl your knees into your chest. Do a happy baby here, grabbing onto your toes or the outer edges of your feet, flex your feet, pull down. Working your spine to the floor. And then extend your legs straight up to the ceiling. Take your hands and interlace them behind your head. Draw your spine to the floor and pulse up. Keep pulsing. Ten more. Hold it up. Do your scissor legs, right leg down, left, right. Left, keep curling, left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whichever leg is down, hold it down. You can keep it like this, or you can take your foot to the floor and curl up one, two, three. If your foot is to the floor, you're pulling with your heel so that you're getting tighter in the belly. Switch legs so the right leg can reach or you can take your heel to the floor, really pressing in, pulling up, keep pulsing. Both legs up, hands underneath your low back, breathe in and breathe out, lower one third. Two thirds. Take your legs to a hover, just lift your head off the floor. Hug in three, two, up. Take your knees to a right angle, bicycles. Ten more. Boat Navasan. Breath. Breathe out. Rock and roll. Down dog. Did the stability get to you? Did you get it? Did you feel it? Get a little ab work or no? Maybe. I can do more. <laughs> The purpose of the stability is really only to, it is to give stability to the back after the back bends. Half pigeon.
taking your five more breaths, you can either hold where you are or you can evolve your pose with more reaching, more space. You'll press up, get a little stretch, and then down dog. Opposite leg, half pigeon. Allow the body to settle in. And stay with breath. About five more. yourself up and this time go to double pigeon bring your back leg around Now take this pose and make it cow face. Like you'll just bring your knees in, crossing, the, trying to get knee stacked over knee. You can take your hands to your feet. Try to get both bones, both butt bones down on the floor. You can fold forward with this one. It's just a little different how it hits the, the hip and the thighs. Come up out of this and bring your feet to the floor. You can maybe go to boat if you want to even it out. And then you're going to go double pigeon the opposite side. So you'll start with your thighs coming right out of your own pelvis. So like making a box. And you're in this part of the pose. And then you lift up and you're going to kind of work your right knee over to the middle of the mat. And you're gonna take your left knee and you're working to stack it on top. And you know, it's all relative, right? This one's a little bit tighter for me. You'll catch your outer edges of your, or you'd catch your feet, pull your body up. And then if you want, you can fold forward. For some of you, this is gonna be easier than double pigeon. And for others, it'll be harder. Just a little different angle. For me, I feel it in my upper pelvis a little bit more in the low back. Couple more breaths. Uh, come up and unravel it. You can shake your legs out. 
and transition to frog to the complete opposite. Now we're going to open the adductors. And the hip capsule. You set yourself up face down, face up. Do what's good for your body. Yeah, I like seeing you roll your mat, whatever it takes to help your knees so that you don't feel this in your knees. As you get a little bit more space in the, the adductors, the inner thigh muscles, you'll find that the knees are much less sensitive because their support is getting more space. And it's always nice to start with a prop under your chest. And then as your body warms into the pose, you can remove the prop if it's in the way. Sometimes the props are what allow us to be in a pose. And our opening sequence, the hip sequence is really a self-care. We've warmed our muscles, we've worked them, and now we're creating the opening, the release. You're about halfway there in the pose if you want to make any changes. Stay with breath. Last 10. Allow your body this opportunity to open. There are days in this pose where it's really uncomfortable and other days where I feel like I could sleep in it. We work, have to work through all of the things. You have to stay awake when you want to sleep. And then you have to allow yourself more breath, more ease when it's uncomfortable. Gently come out. One way to come out is to press your body forward and bring your legs together. That's actually super uncomfortable for me, so I will just come up and walk my knees in. And then we'll meet on our seat. Bring your right foot into the left thigh. a big reach out and fold. Come up, switch sides. And 
up, reach both legs out, big reach in your arms and fold forward. You're on the ground now, so all of your fur babies will come and love on you. Come up, feet down, arms behind you. Reverse plank or reverse tabletop. Gently bring your seat down. Fish pose, walk your hands underneath. Keep allowing the opening in the throat, the chest. Gently untuck. Shoulder stand. Let's go seven breaths and shoulder stand. Keep walking your arms in, reaching your feet long. Ujjayi breath. About halfway. Super gently work your body into plow. Five breaths in plow. You can keep your hands supporting your back. The breath gets a little bit short here. Keep trying to elongate it. Your pressure pose. Super gently roll out into happy baby. Bring your knees together. And you can do a simple twist where you just take both knees to the side or you can cross a leg over. And twist. Look over the opposite shoulder. Gently switch sides, twisting the opposite direction. center, butterfly, feet together, knees out, gently, Shavasana. body to be a complete rest. Just a few moments.
just deepen your breath. Gently roll your side. And with ease, help yourself up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. and thumbs to your forehead. With enormous gratitude, thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I miss your faces. <laughs>